Hi everybody, it's Stephanie again. Oh, yeah, making sure it's recording. So I had amazing, amazing time at church this morning. Um, first of all, worship was so good and I stayed for both services because they had a baptism uh, at the second service. So it's like I get double portion and um, prayer was so, so good too. Um, and it's awesome. I think I told you guys that God just keeps bringing um, people to the prayer team. Oh, I might have to wet my whistle. Um, so in the prayer room that we're in, we're almost out of seats. So it's like we were praying that that would happen. And it's amazing to see more people with the intercessor's hearts coming together and praying and the Holy Spirit just shows up. So I've got a lot of visions. Um, so I'll start with mine and then go down the list of things people prayed. But um, first of all, there was a girl that came up for prayer. I was under the screen, so me and Rhonda started to pray for her, and um, her name is Anne, um, and I looked up her name, but that is beside the point. But she was just sharing that she had a lot of fear about this situation that's going on in her life, and I saw this, like, thorn in her flesh um, that was the spirit of fear, and that... God is pulling it out and it's going to hurt when it comes out, but um, he's got his hand on it and holding um, it together. So that was what I first saw, but then over the last couple of hours, he showed me more. So um, it's actually a fish hook um, that is stuck. So it it pulls it out and it's related to the spirit of suicide um, and the spirit of fear specifically God showed me so um, as the thorn comes out and there's this like hole in our hearts um, and I say our because this is for all of us especially people who have had any spirit of fear or suicide in their lives um, but as he pulls it out um, then he um, takes a part of his own heart um, and takes it out of his heart and so it, it and then puts it in the hole in ours and puts like it's like almost like clay when God put over their eyes and rubs it and it's like now it's a new heart but you can see the scar but it's Jesus's um, healing touch in that place so let me make sure I didn't lose any of that. Yes. So yes, the fish hook. And then it was amazing because they shared this um, as I was getting it during prayer. And then Renee came in and she, before I even told her what I had seen, she got that, um, that there was this big ship um, sitting in the water and the, uh, Yes, uh, just stagnant, you know, sitting there and it's held down, the sails are held down um, and then like the cords get cut um, and uh, yes, the sails fill with, uh, with wind and takes off uh, and it gets momentum as the ropes fall off. So it was, yes, and then there was more to that piece too. Um, Oh, yes, there was vessels, um, big hole, yes, okay, big hole in them, and Jesus was repairing those. So it was cool that those two went so well together, um, and then a couple other words people have, um, just that Jesus is our Jehovah Shalom, our refuge, and two people got, um, like, refuge or strong, strong place that, hold on, refuge, yes, okay. 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 I think that's all, you know, my writing, so just bear with me. Okay. Yes. So, yes, that was the visions and pictures we got. I just love praying with people with this kind of heart. Okay. So, this um, devotional is a little long. I can't remember. If I told you guys the song is Yahweh, and I'm sorry if I did tell you that already. Um, but, okay, now this is a little long, as I said, so bear with me. Um, but it's so good, um, and it's called Leaning, that's the chapter. Um, and the verse is, The Lord speaks to me like a firm grasp of the hand. Isaiah 8, 11. 
Blessed be the Lord our God who does, if we speak the honest truth, cause his word to come to us in just this way, like a strong hand reaching out for us to take hold of firmly and to take hold of us. Sometimes this firm grasp comes as he opens our understanding to a single word, his hand has grasped me in recent days as my understanding opens up to the word trust. Trust, I have learned, means to lean on, to place the weight of my confidence upon. And after this discovery, I found many verses in the Psalms that provide great comfort when translated in this way. For instance, I have trusted in, leaned on, place confidence in your loving kindness, Psalm 15, 5, 13, 5. So I may say that loving kindness, which has loved me with an everlasting love, which forgives and cleanses and will never tire of me, that loving kindness, Lord, I lean on. We know that this is not objectionable to the Lord, that he is, in fact, welcomes it. As David sang, the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who leans on him. Doesn't this tell us something about the love of God? And isn't it just like him to let us know that he wants to lean on not only his loving kindness, but on his very self? Consider these words which will further open your understanding. Now there was le now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of the disciples whom Jesus loved. Who's, who so leaneth on the Lord, happy is he. He is indeed happy with us. Now see what happens when we lean on him. Cause me to hear for on thee do I lean, Psalm 143, 8. It was just when John was leaning that he heard the Lord's answer to the question that troubled the others. And this wonderful promise so often repeated. What time I am afraid, what time I am afraid, I will lean on thee. I will lean on and not be afraid. Isaiah 12, 2. Thou wilt keep me in perfect peace because he leans on thee. Lean on the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is every, every everlasting strength. It is marvelous to me that the Lord's Spirit led the writers of these words to the same special verb, to lean. By one simple word, he means to show us so clearly that it is never anything in us that accounts for the Lord's goodness to us. Everything we are given is all from him. The Lord is our strength and our shield. Our heart leans on him and we are helped. Therefore, our heart greatly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. Psalm 28, 7. May the Lord of love Make this world word of his to be like a firm grasp in the hand. Okay, we made it to the prayer. Okay. Our Father, thank you that you welcome us into your presence and that that's a wonder in itself. More than we can imagine. Then you invite us to lean against you and a bolt of self-reliance in us resist but we want want to trust you to relax the weight of our fears and anxieties against you to rest to know how fully trustworthy you are help us father we reach for your hand feel your firm grasp and we lean our weight against you now so now you guys have been caught up on my awesome Sunday and I ask, just pray that you guys are all having great weekends. Um, and also those of you who are facing hurricanes, I just pray protection over you guys. Um, yeah, so I will talk when I have more to say. Have a blessed Sunday.